Hitchup Mates, it's Chief, coming at you with uh, the assignments for next week. Uh, I have the plan of the week. It will be posted here momentarily, but I wanted to go over some things with you so that you could have a good grasp and understanding of what, will, what the expectations are. So uh, you should know that if you are not at school on Monday and Tuesday, that you are still responsible for the at-home homework assignments that are um, that are listed for the rest of the week. So just because you're at school for two days a week doesn't mean that you only go to school two days. You you're responsible for five days. I have to mark you as attending, uh, even as a, in a virtual capacity. So uh, make sure you're doing that. So Monday, um, Monday or when, Monday if you're in the um, if you're in class, Monday is going to be uh, sexual harassment training, uh, bullying and bystander uh, intervention. Um, I'm going to want you to understand some definitions and descriptions and consequences of, um, of bullying and for sexual harassment. Uh, this is required training that we have to cover every year, so you need to know it and so that we can put the check in the box, is that being done, and so that you are informed so you have no excuses. All right, um, for those of you who are uh, at home or uh, Schoology, the, it is actually available on Schoology. It will be under the PowerPoint presentations under the NS1 PowerPoint Presentations folder. Um, also, to um, okay, so uh, on Tuesday and um, the next the next day of, of uh, physical present students uh, and also for those of you doing it through Schoology, uh, we're going to be doing stationary drill. So we're going to be doing stationary drill in the classroom. We've got it marked out for those of you who are virtual students uh, it's going to be necessary for you to look at the, uh, to watch the individual and squad drill part one video again. Um, I want you to take the time to practice these facing maneuvers. Uh, I know it's going to be challenging to you because you don't have anybody critiquing what you're doing. Um, however, you know, being what it is, we've got to do it. So, uh, so we'll make the best of the situation and make that happen. So the objective for that is that you're going to be able to execute individual drill maneuvers. Um, the other thing is, too, for those of you who are not, um, who are doing, um, who are in uh, physical class, uh, we're also going to be doing PT uniform fittings starting the following week on uh, this, on your day two of uh, physical in class, uh, we're going to start doing PT. Um, uh, the PT will uh, still be available on video for those of you who are doing virtual, uh, and listen, you're not going to be Apart from just you know missing the camaraderie of being with us, uh, you'll be, I know you'll be with us in spirit, but um, but we but you need to to continue doing that. My hope is is to have another PT assignment for you um, so that you can do the PT the following week, the following week on Fridays. Um, so the uh, the homework assignments for um, for the those folks that are in the physical class and then also to um, those of you doing Schoology. Uh, we're going to go over the overview of the NJRTC um, PowerPoint again. If you haven't done that, um, hey, it's okay. Just take some time and go through it again. I need you to look at that. Um, and again, with that, the objectives, we're going to explain the history and the background of the NJRTC uh, and we'll describe the NJRTC's mission, goals, and policies. So make sure that you take a look at that video again. Um, it is testable material. Um, just to let you know, there will be a review uh, sometime in the future on um, just before you take the test, there'll be uh, a, view, a review that I'll post uh, on Schoology for anybody to take a look at, uh, which I am actually going to record that probably in the classroom uh, for, um, for everybody. So for virtuals, uh, for virtuals and also for uh, physical students as well. The physical students... Um, you will be doing, uh, you'll get that, but you'll also will be doing your, you're going to be, everybody will take the test in Schoology, uh, unless, of course, you don't have the technology to do so. So, one last thing, the 11 general orders to the century uh, is an assignment that you are accountable for. Uh, so, when we start doing our personnel inspections, uh, part of the personnel inspection is, is, you know, you'll be standing there, I'll be looking at you head to toe, and then we'll be determining um, we'll be ter determining how uh, well you're dressed, um, how military you look, um, and then also too we're going to ask you questions about um, the eleven general orders to the century. It'll be like 
cadet, what's your first general order of the century? And the cadet will say, chief, my first general order of the century is take charge of this post and all government property in view, chief. And then you'll get points for it. Um, well, it's a pass fail, uh, but so basically it's the way the, pa the inspections are gonna go. If, uh, um, if, you're, um, if you look resplendent, you get 100. If you, are, if you're, if you wore your uniform, um, but you're basically you you lost a lot of points and this is or that's uh, then um, then then you'll get a you'll get a, it's a failure uh, but then um, it'll be about a 59 uh, at the 59 at the most and then if you don't wear your uniform then it's a zero so it's going to be very important for those of you who are doing the um, the virtual uh, inspections um, moms dads guardians you are going to take pictures of of them in their uniforms in detail so I need like a, a you know a full you know head to toe shot and then I'll need like a waist and above shot and then um, and then um, and then we'll also look at the side and you know a picture of the side and a picture of the back so uh, so make sure you know the 11 general orders of the century because that will be part of your um, that'll be part of your uh, inspection uh, there are also two will be a test as well uh, I haven't figured out yet how I'm going to administer that test because I uh, the way I used to do it is not the way I can do it now so uh, and then lastly let's talk briefly about physical training uh, so I have one video on right now it's called tadpole PT uh, which is basically beginner frogman um, and uh, I did leave off some exercises by accident so uh, this next one I'm going to do this next one I'm going to record is going to be a, a core training so we'll be working particularly on the back and the the back and the abs and the and the buttocks and um, and those types of things. Uh, it'll be kind of a combination of of some uh, floor exercises, some Pilates. Uh, there's a couple of Pilates exercises that are in that too. And then we're gonna finish it off with my uh, with my usual butt buster uh, or bum buster um, workout that uh, that I usually do, which I neglected to put on the tadpole PT. So uh, so anyway, hopefully you'll enjoy that. But make sure that you are keeping up with your physical training. Uh, remember, uh, I'm wanting you to do it three days a week, but I can only I can only hold you accountable for one. So Monday and Wednesday, um, you're going to have to do it on your own. And then on Friday, uh, I want you to do my do my my PT. Uh, this week was tadpole PT. Uh, the goal is is and continue to do tadpole PT for uh, for Monday and Wednesday, and then God willing, I'm going to have um, I'll have the uh, the core. Um, the core video done by next Friday. If it's not done by next Friday, uh, then you just continue to do the tadpole PT and we'll have it for the next one, okay? All right, so, um, and then also too, the Friday one is the one that you're gonna list out the exercises for uh, in Schoology. I hope you have a great week. Don't forget that the plan of the week is in Schoology. Uh, take a look at that. It tells you everything that you need to know. Again, if you got any questions, my favorite way to respond to you is by email. Uh, use my school email. It's the one I look at the most often. I've got two. If you're like me, you got probably four or five different email accounts, and you really only look at two or three of them. So, um, so anyway, uh, please uh, email my school account. It's uh, D as in Delta uh, Self Sierra Echo Lima Foxtrot D Self at acpsd.net. All right, y'all have a great week, and look forward to seeing y'all again next week.